This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. Mr. Ed and Wilbur. Marty J. Wiley. Mark Schnittbauer. And in the center square, Wilbur Neal. All on the new... Tuesday at 6, Wednesdays at 10, Thursdays at 3. At Darren Pamela Ferdin. Um, oh, no, not another Burgess Meredith show. Um, Welcome to the place your parents didn't understand. The world of 60s and 70s television. Welcome to Vast Wasteland. Welcome, Welcome home. home. Welcome to Vast Wasteland, the video journal of popular culture. I'm your host, Mark Schmidbauer, along with Wilbert Neal Hello and the currently absent Marty Wiley. Those will be here any second now. Tonight, it's kids, and where are they now? TV kids, what has happened to them? Other than in prison, where have they gone? And Marty's back. Here she is. Yes, I was looking for some shoes. Oh, okay. <laughs> And before we get into the big, uh, the big uh, experience, extravaganza of fun, just want to tell you we're on Tuesdays at 6, Wednesdays at 10, and Thursdays at 3 p.m. here on ACTV Cable 21. Also, if you want to write into Vast Wasteland, and boy, that huge mail ba bag has gone crazy. It's gone nuts. We can't control it. Actually, no one's written in for a while, and we're pretty darn desperate. We want you to write to box 15, 14, 11, Columbus, Ohio, Four three two one five, and also before we get into the big extravaganza, I want to tell you that we've changed the concept of the show a little bit. We've gone beyond 60s and 70s TV into the whole ex the whole universe. Yeah, universe. Universe <laughs> of television. Yes, we've gone from the earliest beginnings to the crap you see now. <laughs> and not only are we doing that, we're now doing a rotating concept, kind of like Name of the Game or or the old uh, NBC mystery movie. Uh, we're going to have the TV concept with the three of us, and then we're going to have comic books on the second show of this season. We'll start rotating these with uh, Wilbert and myself, and then finally a potpourri show of just general other stuff in pop culture with Wilbert and Marty. So you want to tune in for that. Now, on to kids TV <laughs> and TV kids. Yeah. I guess would be the way to say it. TV kids, TV kids. where are they now? Where do you start? <laughs> well, where do you start? 
Well, the first obvious one, I suppose, we need to talk about this whole different strokes thing. <laughs> oh, gee, don't you want to save that one for later? <laughs> Get out the big guns. <laughs> well, I would just start off hit hard hitting yeah. right away. Here. <laughs> That's it. Darn it. Well, the different strokes kids, you remember, they were <laughs> Gary Coleman, Todd Bridges, and Dana Plato, basically. Let's see, the tabloids said Gary Coleman was selling cars now. Yep. Would you buy a car from him? The least, the, the, actually, the most trustworthy of, yes. of the three now. Yes, he's going to be able to keep out of and trouble. He's selling cars, so. Yeah, like, well, <laughs> he's, he's got an honest job. Yeah. He's not holding he's, up video he's, stores. He's, he's away from his parents, who he accused of taking all his money. and, and who probably did. And leading him astray I mean, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, but I, I don't know. I just can't see him selling cars, you know. It's like it, can't reach the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking for the car. You're looking all around for the salesperson, yeah. you know. <laughs> says, Excuse me, can I help you? <laughs> Probably do better commercials than uh, than uh, Mr. Riker. <laughs> what you talking about? You want to use God? <laughs> what you talking about? What you talking about? about refund? <laughs> <laughs> refund? Refund? <laughs> Another movie. Well, then of course. Uh, well, there's that Dana Plato. Yeah. Armed and dangerous. <laughs> that wacky, wacky Dana Plato. She. Uh, well, did she did she do a Playboy thing? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She did a Playboy thing. The whole Miss Wholesome. Ain't nothing boom. wrong with that. Well, I mean, she it's, paid it's, for it. Yeah, yeah. She, but then I guess she must have spent that money right away. Or something. <laughs> Cause the next time we Didn't heard about her, it. she's uh. On a on a 7-Eleven type no. camera thing, yeah. she had <laughs> held up a video store. <laughs> she needed the bread. <laughs> well, that's what I said. She spent that that other money up. She right made by a gun. Well, so it could be armed robbery. <laughs> well, maybe it was a toy gun, but you know, yeah. whatever. She whatever. She was she did it, and it's like didn't she even look up at the camera? Or, <laughs> and then she tried to deny it later, yeah. but yet they had the film. <laughs> and, and then no sooner than she get off of that one, then she did something else like that again. It's like she did it again. <laughs> silly, silly child. And then, of course, Todd Bridges. <laughs> Boy, Conrad Bain's going to be feeling really bad at this point. Hey, let's, let me, one of the least successful TV fathers I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> let me just all three kids, here, um, all gone to hell in a handbag. Well, even the, other, even, the, even the other, well, but the other kid that was on the show in the later years, Danny Cooksey. Yeah. Now, He's 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 getting these bad boy roles all the time now. He was in Terminator 2 playing the best friend. It was like, no, Mr. Cop, I haven't seen John Connor. Yeah. John Ratter for cops. <laughs> and he's on a Nickelodeon show called Salute Your Shorts, where he plays Budnick, the, the bad kid. <laughs> hmm. Amazing. So, but he was little Sam on the show with a little guitar, mm -hmm. little country twang. Oh, supposed yeah. to be Dixie Carter's son. Oh yeah, okay. He well, has, he's, no, he's lost the country twang. He plays heavy metal now. So he's like the only one that's really stayed in the acting thing totally, right. and uh -huh. he's he's doing rather well with it. But then you have your Todd Bridges he's here, who was playing the bad kid. <laughs> well, well, he was on the show. Than being um, the bad kid. <laughs> he was on this, the show Fish before he was on the uh -huh. different strokes. Oh, yeah. and, that was a kind of, I guess, a, a popular one. A lot of a lot of kid actors well, were on there. And yep. Fish was a spinoff of Barney Miller. Yeah. Right. And he was, uh, well, Fish was kind of helping out some underprivileged kids. When yeah, they that was the deal. Parenting kind of thing. Parenting, yeah. And then he went on to this different strokes thing where he was Willis Jackson, and then he... He was an orphan. <laughs> 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 and then from there, well, we didn't hear about him for a while. It's like he still lived off the different strokes then. Yeah. He was okay. Big residuals. Cool. Yeah, uh, you know, you're all set. And then I guess he, um, I don't know. Decided to try all those things he missed out on in childhood. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's do some dope. Let's do some stealing some cars. Mm -hmm. Did he do some assault and battery, too? He probably did. I think he was in a... It was a whole big thing of being in a car, having dope, um, getting in trouble with the police, possibly getting into a little altercation there. It was kind of all uh, just a just a big night. <laughs> just a big night, a, a big, big week, ni big night for Todd. <laughs> Todd's car big night. <laughs> he just he just had a day, man. It was a day. And then he, of course, tried to deny it. <laughs> <laughs> Bad which, case of denial there. Which is the, the seems to be the, the thing to do if you're caught doing something, well, try first to deny it. <laughs> and then they have and really if lying good evidence, doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> then blame it on the fact that um, You were a showbiz kid. You were a showbiz <laughs> kid, basically. It it twisted my life. 
Yes, I just well, couldn't have a normal life after that. Another one who's gotten in trouble in the past year is Butch Patrick. Yep. Butch Patrick, who was on the something Monsters. Something over slugging somebody over a limousine or something? Something about, um, let's see, what was it? He's, he's, was he, he, he did want to pay for the limousine or something? Something like that. And he Fuel ended up slugging. Got it on Butch Patrick. <laughs> ended up slugging, <laughs> slugging the. Look at me, don't I look like a werewolf? <laughs> He's trying to fix his hair to look, look like. Look, look, <laughs> pointed ears. Pointed ears. Remember, I could open pop cans with my teeth. Remember, I had the little wolfy dog. Oh yeah. yeah. It cost a hundred dollars now. Here, you could have one of those. <laughs> I won't pay for this ride. That's right. <laughs> you know, they didn't pay him for driving or something. It, it was, was something, something like about that. that. Something dealing with a limo and money and a, somebody being hit. <laughs> somebody <laughs> being hit. <laughs> Repeatedly. Yes. Food for the tabloid. Mm -hmm. and Who do we got next? Well, just going alphabetically, here I see Danielle Brisbois. <laughs> she was okay, uh, from Archie's place. It's Archie's place. Well, before that, she was in the uh, well, Annie movie. She was in, the, she was movie in or the Broadway. Oh, in the Broadway. She was in the yeah. Broadway. And now what's happened to her? We haven't well, heard let's much see. Her. Um, <laughs> she's doing Broadway. She's doing Broadway. a number of series, including daytime soap opera. She was in All My Children. Yes, she was. She in was. Unless the World Turns. She aspires a career as an opera singer. Mm. Good luck. Isn't that nice? <laughs> and then there's Tiffany Brissett, who, who was on... Small wonder as Vicky, the little oh. the little robot. Oh come kid. on! Can we even count that? <laughs> yeah. Forget that. Well, of course, that's that's kind of all they say about her. So. Yeah, thank I, goodness. The one I saw this <laughs> summer um, on TV, Johnny Whitaker. Yeah. Yeah. Buffy, Jody, Sissy. <laughs> well, Sissy was on the show too. And they hadn't seen each other for just years. Fifteen years or so, because of course Alyssa Jones is dead. Yeah. Poor little Buffy. Oh dear. The whole family affair thing. <laughs> da, 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 Johnny, da, da, Johnny Whitaker da, da, is what? Da, 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 Divorced da, da, twice? Da, 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 well, at least once. At least once. And, um... And daggone it, if he smells manure, he'll look for the pony. <laughs> well, no, if he's in a, if he's in a room full of manure, he'll look for the That's pony. That's right. Because he's Mr. he's heck. Mr. Brightness and Sunshine, and he's always looking for the, the silver lining behind that dark cloud. <laughs> So optimistic. Makes me wonder what but else he, he did. But he did several things after Family Affair. I mean, he made a whole lot of little well, appearances Sawyer here and there, and, and he did a couple movies. He did movies and stuff. And then yeah. Sissy, what was her real name? Uh, She'll don't... always be Sissy. She, she does children's books on audio tape. Yes. She Kathy writes Garber. Music. Yes, and she's writing music, so she's like real successful and stuff. Although we, you'd never really hear her name much anymore, but she, she's still out there. So. Bill Moomy. He Moomy. went into music too. Now, Billy, <laughs> he's done several things. If you call Fish Heads a song. <laughs> well, now he's that, he's that's, doing lots of stuff he's now. He's done several things. He's doing. He's uh, writing comic books yeah. and. Uh, what really big in the comics. He's uh, and he produced a couple things, or at least he's appeared in other. He's appeared in movies, right? As um, that were kind of like um, recreations of characters he had done earlier, because he was in that Twilight Zone movie and right. the, the one episode where in the original series he had played the little kid in the cornfield, or the kid who could make things happen. Right. He mm -hmm. lived right. out kind of right. out in right. the middle of nowhere, and so um, he was in the, the remake of that episode. Mm -hmm. He was one of the kids in the, well, where they, anyway, mm -hmm. he was in that. Yeah. And yeah. then he has done the uh, comic book thing. He's done several different comics, gosh. And in fact, he's even in on the, um, the Lost in Space comic that they're that one um, company is doing. Hmm. Cool. He's helping with that. So, yeah, Bill, he's been active. He <laughs> hasn't let not acting stop him. He's he stayed out of jail. To, it, 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 stayed it, out of jail. That's <laughs> Unlike <thing>. Danny Bonaduce. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, now, Danny worked after Partridge Family. <laughs> That's true. He, he, did, he did radio and yeah. things like that. He probably, he you know. He did some TV. Lived off the Partridge thing there for a while. He did some time for cocaine. <laughs> He's doing some community work now because of other 
drug related I kind of thing. Can, you know, now that uh, Susan Day has finally finally left LA law, now they can just keep Danny out of out of jail long enough. They can they can do that long awaited big uh, Partridge Family reunion tour. But who will they get? Which one of the little kids will they get to play the youngest? <laughs> <laughs> two of get them another out there. one. What the heck? Have, David Cassidy. Half the show have one, half the show have the other. Something. Uh, David Cassidy has an album out. They're coming out right. called. Um, Weren't you, or so, what is it? <laughs> Didn't you used to be? Because <laughs> he decided he wanted to beat everybody to the punchline there. <laughs> well, some other people uh, from uh, Lost in Space. Have we heard much about Angela Cartwright? Um, as Penny? <laughs> Angela, no. We hear more about Veronica. Mm -hmm. Veronica's still doing movies. Because um, she was in, well, Alien, and she was right. in... Um, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Right. She always seems to play the kid that starts crying. <laughs> well, the first, the lady that starts crying a lot. That uncontrollable crying thing. <laughs> or screaming or something. It's, or a scream that turns into a cry. And her whole face just distorts. And it's like, <laughs> just, she still She still has that ability. Because wasn't she, was she in The Birds? Was that Veronica? I think it was Veronica that was in The Birds. Wait a minute, I don't know. But anyway, in that, she starts that crying thing. So she's she been just, typecast. Okay. Exactly. She's been typecast as the crying, pretty, the pretty crying pretty female. <laughs> so who else we got here? Well, let's, let's move on along here. Um, just alphabetically, and by golly, we'll come up with somebody here. <laughs> ah, here we go. <laughs> From the show, Julia. Yeah, where's he now? Did he grow up? I have no idea. Did he learn to live in a helicopter? <laughs> like they, that's all they have listed here. Where are they here. now? Corey we Baker. have no idea. Yeah, no. Corey Collis, Baker. Collis, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Collis, you know where okay? he is. That's it. Have you seen this child? Brad <laughs> and also, um, from that from that same show, there was um, Earl little, J. Wagon little Earl J. Wagonhorn, <laughs> Michael Link. Okay. And, and what's he doing now? I have no idea. Obvious. <laughs> Opie. Yeah. Yeah. Little Opie Cunningham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ron Howard is now like Mr. Mega Rich, Mr. Super director, director, producer, bald guy. Bald guy. Yeah. <laughs> Wears hats a lot. Wears hats. Lot. Yeah. And and of course his little brother Clint Howard, who if Ron Howard does a movie, well Clint Howard's gonna <laughs> have a part. <laughs> Basically, a if shot, Ron yeah. Howard did just did just about anything, even when he was just done on TV, there Clint would appear in there somewhere because yeah. Clint made his TV a day. You as in Ron's series, um, the Andy Griffith Show. Oh yeah, that was definitely Ron's series. He definitely carried it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was like his brother was in there. All so right, come on, bring Glenn in here. So I guess his mom was like, "Well, yeah. you gotta get here. Little brother's gotta be yeah. in here somewhere." If I've got to drive. I'm not working. If I've got to drive you here, to the lot, out. you better get your brother apart because if I've got to drive you, I've got to get him up and get him dressed too. So I'll get him apart. Okay, you might as well. I'll be in my trailer. <laughs> and then by golly, that, that Clint went on to be the little little. Baylock. <laughs> it's a Tranya. The Tranya. <laughs> in the Star Trek thing. And yeah, and by golly, that, their own gigs. That just kind of goes. And you know, I had a scary thought. What is Ron Howard related at all to Ken Howard? <laughs> what would I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I don't think I was so just curious but Ken about Howard that is because. Bald also. because <laughs> like, it's one of those scary things that you just never Their think about, but Reasonable. yet <laughs> you just don't know. And then speaking of speaking of the Star Trek thing with, with Clint Howard yeah. there, by golly, by golly, we'll what? move on to just my least favorite of <laughs> oh no of all these, oh, no. Of all these child actresses, <laughs> track actors, actresses, <laughs> that darn that darn <laughs> Pamela Burton. <laughs> Who just seemed to appear in anything that was being done. My gosh. If there was a show that was on, if she wasn't in it, she supplied there was a, there a voice was, yeah. or something. She yeah. was Lucy for a long time. Right. And Peanuts. Yeah, she did the Lucy voice in the peanut shows that were on. She was, well, let's see, they have her here as being in the, the John Forsythe show from 65 to 66. She was in the Blondie show playing Cookie from 68 to 69. She was in the Paul Lynn show and it was on from like 72 to 73. She was in Lassie Adventures from 73 to 74. She was quite oh. active on Saturday morning series in the 1970s, both providing cartoon voices and appearing in live action shows like Curiosity Shop. Yeah. Was on <laughs> there. And then, uh, what was that? Um, 
Space Academy. She like was on there, which became Jace of Star Command. I think she might even have been on there. That darn Pamela <laughs> Ferdin. Of course, if it wasn't Pamela Ferdin, it was Jodie Foster. Well, this is true. Yeah. That you can pretty much say Jody got all the parts of Pam didn't have time to do. Yeah. <laughs> or either that or they, well, this is probably true because I think Jody might be a little younger than Pam. Although they might be about the same For age. I casting think call after casting call, they both show up to them. <laughs> oh, Jody and Pamela. Me little blonde again. girl. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> it's like Pam got all the things when she was younger and then Jody started getting them as, as Pam got a little older. It's like Jody was, oh, well, she's kind of cute. Then she got to be like taller and stockier or something and so then she got like older girl parts even though she was still younger and now she's finally coming to her own and Pamela Ferdin has fallen completely off the face of the earth so <laughs> yeah Jody's like director oh yeah producing, big, big time acting. Oscar She's Oscar very Bates. successful. Yes. <laughs> and that darn Pamela Ferdin, we don't know. I don't know exactly where she is now. She's probably watching the show and going to write yeah. me a nasty <laughs> Hey, don't you remember me? <laughs> I'm that darn Pamela Ferdin. <laughs> Just knock on the door. I think he remembers her. He uh, doesn't know where Pamela Ferdin. <laughs> <laughs> She was in that, that one um, Star Trek episode about the friendly <laughs> angel, which also yeah, had that... fire and snow, <laughs> all the angel, we will go far away. Right, see. Friendly, friendly angel, come, come to me. <laughs> One of the weakest episodes. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly, no question. Also on that episode was um, Brian Tokai <laughs> as the little Oriental kid. <laughs> Brought in whenever they needed a token Oriental kid. <laughs> exactly, pretty much. And he, he went on to be in other things. Um, let's see. On Anna and the King, which was a kind of a syndicated, oh, it was a comedy. He played Crown Prince. <laughs> yeah. Who can forget Crown Prince? <laughs> <laughs> and he was in a show called Renegades in 1983 where he played a kid named Dragon. Well, I guess he wasn't in much of a kid anymore. Probably he's not. A teenager here. Right. And he's Dragon, I guess because he probably did martial arts. I'm guessing. <laughs> and then he was on <laughs> St. Elsewhere. Yeah. And say 84 to 85, playing Dr. Alan Poe. And see, he was also on that Space Academy. <laughs> and the children's video magazine Razzmatazz. He had a recurring role on Hawaii Five-O as Johnny Lee. And then from there, he was, well, even before that, gee whiz, he was on He and She as um, Richard Benjamin and Paula Prentice's adopted son. This was in 1968, so that was before then. It's probably mm -hmm. right around the same time he did the Star Trek thing. Right. And then most recently, he's been in the Police Academy movies. <laughs> He's well, and uh, another Star Trek reference, Eleanor Donahue, of course, first on Father Knows Wonder Best Wonder. as Princess. <laughs> and, of course, later she did that, that darn episode. Uh, she was the... It's been a while since I've seen that episode, actually, but uh, she meets Zephram Cochran on that planet, and uh, she was... Uh, she was like this diplomat or some sort of deal and they were supposed to get somewhere like they always are on Star Trek. They're supposed to be getting somewhere. Well, they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, they just... and the shuttlecraft <laughs> breaks down. Right. And they <laughs> find <laughs> Zephyr Cochran. Who was and... like an astronaut from what our time or something? No, no, no. Like <laughs> he, he's the guy who invented warp drive in the okay. 21st century. <laughs> okay. But he's still alive basically. Yeah. And, and of course now Eleanor Donahue, you see her on uh, you see her guest star and stuff a lot. I don't know. She well, no, but oh, see what she's in there. In the other series Eleanor she's Donahue. done. Eleanor Donahue. Isn't she she's uh, Chris Peterson's mom? Peterson's mom. <laughs> oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. That show with that incredibly ugly. <laughs> Get a life. Get a Get life. life. Yeah. <laughs> Which was yeah. another Star Trek reference. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, man. Amazing. Well, how about Janet Jackson? She was a child actress. On Good Times. Of course, you wouldn't recognize no, her. No, I am just wondering, is she, her brother trying to, like, buy up all those old Good Times? Yeah. <laughs> oh, get that one. I had the old nose. Mine yeah. get that one. <laughs> Except like Ted Turner's got them all going, uh, 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 <laughs> my million's against yours. Go either, on. Either that or, uh, I'm going to decolorize them. <laughs> Jimmy J.J. Walker is buying them all up. Yeah. <laughs> Why, well, so you can see when he wasn't quite as ugly. <laughs> well, don't you remember when he had a career? <laughs> yeah. well, I think he still had to stand up, actually. Well, he probably Of course, does. he wasn't actually a kid. He was playing a kid. Yeah, but he was. But he wasn't actually a kid. Well, that was a, a big kid. thing. And, and you see that still today, the idea of, 
people way too old playing these parts. Well, Michael J. Fox made a career out of it. Right. <laughs> and he still is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, now he's, you know, the last things he's been in, he's kind of played. More of an adult. More of yeah. an adult, but, I mean, you know, he got, from, from watching an interview with him, he's actually Canadian, but he got his green card because he is short and looked young. Right. He did like Where's Boomer and shows like this. <laughs> so, you know, he could play that that uh, kid part and play it like the intelligent kid, you know, <laughs> the smart kid, the real, the smart because kid. he was actually older. <laughs> amazing. Simply amazing. Simply amazing. Doesn't take much to amaze you, does it? <laughs> well, it's, it's just amazing, by golly. <laughs> <laughs> It really, really is. <laughs> <laughs> what about Jay North? Yep, well. I'm the last picture I saw of him, he looked like a giant Dennis the Menace. Ooh. It was actually that a... That is scary. Yeah. And of course, now they're doing a new Dennis the Menace movie. Oh, why? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Coppola's doing I think, it. I don't know. I think, I think Jay North was pretty much <laughs> the Dennis the Menace, you know. Well, I have here Lisa... He was irritating. I have Lisa Garretson. Lisa Garretson. Who was just in several things. Uh, My World and Welcome yeah. to It back in 6970. Mary Tyler Moore Show. And then on to Phyllis, where she played Bess Lindstrom in Bess both. Bess Lindstrom, yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, well, what's she doing now? Well, I don't know. We don't, I don't know. know. Call us, call us. We'll get you a public know. accent. Maybe she's got rid of those braces, yeah. We <laughs> hope so. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what's good for her. And, of course, there's Jerry Mathers. As the beaver. As, As the, the beaver. beaver. Well, I guess they're not making that anymore, are they? they I think they uh, killed that off. Let's see. Eddie Haskell grew up and became a cop, and then went back to being Eddie Haskell again. <laughs> and got his son on the new show. Mm -hmm. Is that nepotism? Really? <laughs> it's like they all... No, it's like Tony Dow, Jerry Mathers... Never really heard about him again until they did the Leave It to Beaver stuff again. Mm -hmm. It's like they've just made a life of it. <laughs> well, there was that big rumor going around for you that Jerry yeah. Mathers had gone and was gone killed in Vietnam. and was blown yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that went on for years. Like the, the, the Mikey, the kid from the Life cereal boxes, had gone to Nam or yeah, something. Yeah, Mikey had gone to Nam and gotten blown up, <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah, and even uh, the most recent one, the kid on the, uh, the rallies commercials died somehow, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was supposedly blown up uh, in Kuwait. Yeah. But he hasn't. <laughs> and what about the, uh, what was the whole thing with the, uh, somebody had taken Pop Rocks and drank Pop with them and blown up? They, they said yeah. several, several. Lots of different Lots people, of people supposedly had done that. Child actors And then there was that story that. about Rod Stewart, but that's another show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whoopsie. Yeah. <laughs> well, how about those wacky Nelsons, huh? <laughs> there's David Nelson, there's, there's Ricky Nelson, there's, there's... There's his daughter, Tracy, Tracy. Nelson. I mean, this there's Nelson his thing twins, just, goes, Nelson. Yeah, <laughs> just goes on and on and on. Then there's just the Nelsons. Yeah, yeah. it just goes on just and on and on Nelson. and on. Nelson, Nelson, Nelson. Family dynasty, huh? Yeah, they just, those darn Nelsons. You gotta wonder, would, I, would Ozzy and Harriet be kind of like spinning wildly in their graves for, the, for Nelson? That's my question. Nobody's you know? spinning wildly for Nelson. <laughs> no, it's just like, what, Not even what their happened? Not records are spinning wildly. <laughs> CDs now. Yeah. <laughs> what are these? What are these records you speak of? <laughs> <laughs> that's records. right. Well, these, that's these. just how old we are. That's my right. children are amazed by my eight-track tape. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Eight-tracks. <laughs> that's another show. <laughs> Ooh, and then I, I found a scary one in here. Oh probably, yeah. Probably scary one, one of the the scariest the scariest of. Um, Better Actresses hurry up, on, on Mackenzie Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> but Valerie did rather nice. Well, Valerie Bertinelli did rather very now well. She's queen of the uh, the miniseries. <laughs> she's Eddie Van Halen's wife. Yeah. I always thought See, was that like the Mick Jagger, Bianca Jagger thing all over again? Eddie's mm. like, I want a wife and I want her to look just like me. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought Nia Peoples looked like a young uh, Valerie Bertinelli. Yeah. Nia Peoples, I don't know. But this Mackenzie Phillips thing, this, this is funny here. Mackenzie Phillips represents one of the most widely publicized examples of disastrous effects that drugs can have on a performer's career. Hey, didn't she have to go through rehab with her dad? Probably, yeah. <laughs> For mama and papa, Amazing. who were mamas and papas. <laughs> and her dad, John Phillips, who was in the mamas and the papas. And by golly, she was... She just did the whole drug and alcohol bit there. And well, I, I think it just wore on her face. It's like you could see it on her face. <laughs> yes, that whole series can And she looked more and more like Mick Jagger at a young age. <laughs> Amazing. Well, 
looks like we're running out of time. So next time on Vast Wasteland, it's the first edition of Vast Wasteland, the comics edition. Mm -hmm. So tune in for that. We're going to be talking about the history of DC Comics. So you'll want to tune in for that. Mm. And for all of us here at Vast Wasteland, we'll see you next time. Good on, everyone. Good evening, and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland.